This is a space shuttle guide, and what it was created to do was to document every light switch and button on the space shuttle, but also it was designed so that it could find the information in three to four clicks. Now, as you see, as you scroll down, there are several categories. You see acronyms, checklists, schematics, system description, a complete index, and then a picture index. Now the acronyms, that gives a list of the acronyms that we have so far of the Space Shuttle. As you can see they're alphabeticalized. If it was under I, you click on I and then they have what each acronym was and what they mean. Below acronyms, there's checklists. We're working on trying to find every checklist and put that up. And here is a brief index of how to read the checklists and then what we have so far, like the APU. Uh, the non-normal and then the normal checklist. So if you want a normal checklist, you click on that. And then how to do an APU restart. It's all there. And then not only is what to do but as you do it you click off and that checks that you've done that step so if you come back to the checklist if you get distracted you know if you're working on your uh, if you're flying the simulator and something happens and you have to go back to flying the simulator then you can see okay I did step one now it's on the step two after that is schematics if you want to see the schematics of how the APU works. Um, so let's look at APU hydraulic overview. You will have a full diag schematic of how the APU works with the hydraulic system. After schematics, we have a system description. We have a lot of that uh, mostly from what we could get it's not complete but we've got a great portion of it like if again going to APU we have a full description full system fuel tanks um, where the switches are it's it's a full description of all the schematics and descript uh, and where the switches are in one place. After that we have a complete index. Now we've taken everything we've had and we put it into an index here so you can find whatever you want alphabetically. If you're looking for hydraulics you click on there you see heads up display. Let's go down to hydraulics and you can see we have a full description of what we want for hydraulics and the final thing we have is the picture index now this gets the most hits and what it is is basically a view of each switch so let's say that you do you find something that you're looking for on the front part of the instrument panel and it's over here and let's say it is having to do with the APU fuel you have eight EGT fuel pressure oil temperature now right below it will say what this gauge does and then if you want more information if you want more general information you click on it and it gives you a text of the general information not only that but let's say you want to look at the non-normals it takes you to the non-normal part of that checklist and let's say it's APU speed high so we have that and it goes to the checklist again 
you can click off what you do and it says go to APU shutdown. Now the links for that are in here too. And this is how you shut down the APU and again you can click through as you do the steps in the space shuttle like if you're working the, uh, the simulator game. We also have it for the non-normal and then we have schematics if you want and limitations And of course there's a back button if you want to go back. So that is the Space Shuttle Guide in a nutshell.